Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, behind me is this week's review, this week's car. We've got a 2022 uh, 4Runner, Toyota 4Runner SR5. Uh, it's a big sort of, you know, I wouldn't call it a midsize, I'd call it a full size SUV. Uh, it's got uh, two plus three seating, tons and tons of space, sits high up on the road, uh, comes in at a really, really good price. Um, I spent about two weeks living with this car and I've got really, really good things to say about it. Uh, so hopefully you'll come with me in this review. We can check it out, I'll give you all the specs, take it for a little drive, have a little bit of fun with it. And uh, if you're in the market to, to buy one of these bad boys, hopefully by the end of this video, you're, you're even more sold, okay? Uh, if you like this video and you continue to, to enjoy the content, um, I, I encourage you to browse the channel, uh, hit the like button if you like this one. Anytime I get 100 likes on a, on a video, I give out a $200 gift card to any one of uh, my, my random sort of subscribers. Um, hit the subscribe button as well. Join the community, get uh, regular updates, hit all, and, uh, and you won't uh, miss out on any of these videos, okay? Let's take a look at the, the 2022 Toyota 4Runner. Let's go. All right, so here she is, our our review for the week, our vehicle for the week. This car, actually, I've been been driving it for about two weeks now, and I've really, really enjoyed this car. I didn't want to give it back after the first week, just because it's so spacious. Look at the size of it, it's so spacious. It's it's actually pretty luxurious. It sits high up on the road. It's very, very comfortable when you're driving it. A um, lot of good things to say. If you've been watching my my channel for some time now about the Forerunners, I know they they they're just they're popular. People like them. Um, so this one in particular, this model in particular, but but Toyota, the brand in particular, you know, I've been really really liking the the the, the Toyota brand in general. I think I think I've had the I've driven the four so so the Forerunner now, driven the Supra, really enjoyed that, the little compact coupe sports car. Uh, drove the Camry, the four-door sedan. Drove the RAV4, which is a really, really, go check that out on my on my uh, channel. Really, really popular car. I'll, I'll kind of want to get the hybrid version on the on the channel soon. Um, I've only just yet to drive the Highlander. I think that's the only one I'm kind of missing. So this week, taking a look at this this beautiful 2002 Toyota 4Runner in the SR5 model. Okay, so coming around here, let me just read you off a few specs here, okay? So this one retailing for $38,100, okay? Uh, it's coming in in a nice sort of dark gray, which I really, really enjoy. <laughs> nice sort of subtle gray looking. I think if I own this car, I'd probably tint the windows a little bit darker just to give it a little bit more sort of menacing vibe. Maybe black out the, uh, the chrome uh, rims as well. Um, this one gets... Uh, about 16 in the city and 19 on the highway. So based on those numbers, you can tell it's pretty heavy on gas. I filled up the gas tank today, 87% octane, all things considered in the world. You know, the, the gas prices are absolutely ridiculous. $110 US to fill up this tank. So definitely uh, something to, to consider if you're, if you're planning on buying this car or if you're planning on buying most cars these days uh, and you're not going hybrid or, or electric is the, the fuel efficiency. So this one really, really difficult on, uh, difficult on gas, hard on gas. Um, okay, so getting uh, 16 in the city, 19 in the, on the highway. Okay, and so I guess reason being is it's powered by a four liter V6. Okay, so big, big engine. I'll cut in a second to uh, the, the engine note, the, the rev, rev sort of count so you can get a little here of this thing. It sounds really, really good when you're revving it hard, but it's, it's heavy. This one's coming in about 4,400 pounds. So 
you know, you, you do feel it when you're rolling around town, um, you know, trying to get in and out of traffic and stuff like that, you really have to sort of pick your spots and, and prepare to get in and on, you know, get in and out of the little little sort of holes and stuff like that. It's not super, super agile, but I don't think that it's really meant to do that. It's it's a bit of a, a cruiser, right? It's the, it's the car that you want to take to your to your sort of, you know, your, your cottage up uh, up by the lake and stuff like that. You can pack everything in comfortably and uh, and take it on a nice sort of long road trip. It's It really does that sort of job really well transmission is a five-speed automatic um, this thing again four liter six cylinder pushing 270 horsepower if you wanted to go up to the TRD model which is the higher trim you're gonna pay a little bit more you'll probably get a bit more power as well uh, curb weight 4,400 pounds all the way up to 46 and change 4675 is the potential weight you can pay for the heaviest variant uh, this one is towing capacity is about 5,000 pounds coming around here just looking you're all set up here for your towing capacity there I didn't tow anything this week, but you have the capacity. Tons and tons of space in this bad boy. Uh, four wheel drive, but also rear wheel drive. You have the ability inside, and I'll clip to it right now, to on a little dial just to kind of flip back and forth, uh, depending on what you're using the car for. Three year, 36,000 um, mile basic warranty. Uh, five year, 60,000 mile powertrain warranty, okay? Uh, so seating capacity, looking at five. Okay, so just kind of coming around, just give you a little sort of rundown here of the car up close and personal, right? Beautiful for 2022. You got these nice uh, headlights. Everything looks pretty crystal and clean, right? Nice big Forerunner logo. Toyota does their logos really, really, really big here. Everyone, everyone, they want everyone to know that you're in a Toyota. They want, to, they want everyone to know that you're, they want you to be able to show off the model that you're in, which is really, really cool. One of the coolest things I find about this Forerunner is this window. We're gonna cut to it right now. It goes down, a little flick of a button inside the interior and it goes down like you're on Safari, which is super cool. That's another thing you could use this for if, if you're in Africa or something like that. Just going on Safari, it's, it's, it's super, super cool for off-roading or something like that. So coming around gas tank here pretty standard right you got your gas tank boom just filled up so she's a thirsty bugger that's for sure this this girl is thirsty 110 dollars thirsty this morning 113 to be exact uh big huge gnarly wheels on this thing i think that's why it rides like a like a magic carpet um pretty nice rims i mean they're all right i'd probably go black but uh the chrome looks okay the size of them, I think, is the, big, the biggest thing. Love this nice sort of kick plate so you can jump up on the on the car when you're trying to get in, right? That's very helpful because it is high up on the road. It sits very high up on the road. So you kind of need that to get in. Um, you got your lane, lane um, or excuse me, your, um, your signal indicators there on the side. All right, coming around. Really, really love the front of this thing. It looks pretty menacing. You got your regular sort of bang, bang, your L. Beautiful sort of, um, you know, light setup. And then you've got that other fog light that sits a little bit lower. All this stuff's non-functional. It doesn't really serve any purpose. This is definitely functional. Nice, beautiful grill here. Let airflow in the, into, the, into the mouth of the car, right? Cool down that engine, right? Nice logo here. The 4Runner is very, very sort of unique. Um, it's a unique car versus anything else that I kind of see out there. I think it has, a, again, a, kind of like a safari sort of like a, like an off-roading sort of vibe which i really really i find cool and i think a lot of people kind of enjoy that it's a it's a it's a really good selling sort of car again at the top it's got the ability to put your you know your canoes your bikes anything you need for sort of off-roading all the all the capabilities everything's kind of taken care of in this uh in this vehicle which is really really cool um a couple styling little elements here this little piece comes over right just kind of tilts over it's got a little um rear view reverse light here yeah, kind of cool, right? There's your, your shark fin for all your technology inside. All right. Looks pretty good. It's been a pretty good uh, pretty good car for the last sort of week. Um, that's the exterior. Uh, let's, uh, let's take a little look-see uh, inside here quickly. All right, so let's just pop the door open inside here. First thing you're going to see is how spacious this, this car is, right? It sits high up on the road, right? You're going to see that when we go for a drive, right? You're higher than most vehicles. Uh, which is really, really cool. You can see in and out, you can see the traffic ahead of you, right? But very, very sort of comfortable leather seating, two-tone, got the dark gray with the light gray, sort of offsetting the, the dark gray, right? The two, we call it two-tone, really nice. You got your nice soft touch uh, leathers on the door, right? Nothing cheap here. This is actually really, really good quality. You got your leather steering wheel as well here, right? 
all your volume controls. I really, really enjoyed Apple CarPlay, Apple CarPlay capability here. But a lot of times you hook up your, your Apple CarPlay and then you don't have the functionality through um, you know, through the, the, the next track, up, down, volume up, but this is all compatible. It worked really, really well. And that's a huge, huge thing for me. For people that, that are driving and are constantly on their phone, constantly on their music, they want to be able to be hands-free. Or not necessarily hands-free, but, but quick little touches from here. They don't want to have to look over here, constantly reach, going to their phone every 10 seconds. Everything is, is worked from here and it's very functional. So I give that kind of high marks. I really, really enjoyed that. You got your, your basic sort of analog deal here. Gas, as you can see, is full. Filled her up today. Uh, that's your, you know, your speedometer, your tachometer, your, you know, your, your, um, your oil uh, level, oil um, temperature, excuse me. Um, and something that I actually really, really appreciate is if you look at most Toyota, and if you've watched most of my videos, most of the Toyotas have a little tablet like this just sitting here in a really sort of awkward way. This one, I'm so pleased to see that they've really they've they style it into the uh, the dashboard, so it looks so much, so much better. It just looks like a, a higher quality sort of, you know higher quality built it looks like there was a little bit more thought process that went into it so just coming down here you get you get a nice sort of finish here and I'll call that like a like a darker brushed aluminum um, with a wrapped sort of with a leather wrapping um, there's the button to let's give that a little push up and then down I'm gonna show you in the back what that does okay we're gonna go up and down right that's like my favorite function of this whole car I find it amazing uh, then you get your your heated seats. This one's just heated both sides. That's kind of cool little dial bang You got lots and lots of storage here. You get that you get your cup holder. You get another cup holder You get your ability to go from four-wheel drive to two-wheel drive if and when you need it, right? This is for your rear um, It's climate control All right, you got everything you need there big spacious passenger wheel well there Right. Nice little trim. I like how they finished this. It doesn't look cheap. It kind of feels a little bit cheap to the touch, but to look at it, you know, you're not really touching it an awful lot. You don't need to be touching it. It just it looks good. It doesn't look cheap. It looks really, really good. So I'm impressed with that. Looking over there, another really cool thing that I that I, I noticed with Forerunners is that everything is here. It's not nor it's normally down there, but up here, and we'll bring it over to the passenger seat or the driver's seat. Excuse me, is it's up there where you rest your arm. You have this nice long sort of area for resting your arm, and that's where your controls are. So ergonomically, that really really makes sense, right? I want to do my window. It's right there on my touch. I want to bring it down. It's right there on my touch. That's where my hand goes. It's, it's it just kind of makes sense. Usually the things are all down here. And so I guess people would have mixed opinions. If it's up here, it's kind of in the way of your hand. But it just feels like it's it's right. It just sits there and it's like it presents itself almost to you. So there's a few more gauges, right, to do your mirrors, left and right. You know, this is for your uh, for your analog gear sort of stuff. If you want, if you're at night or if you're you know if you want it light or bright, you know however you however you do high beams on and off, the basic sort of stuff, right? All right, very very spacious in this uh, in this car tons and tons of storage area in there we got a what was a 12 volt 12 volt uh, as well but super deep oh my god i could almost get lost there. i could fall in there it's like an abyss it's amazing you can store a lot a lot of stuff in there so really really cool let's take a look at uh at the back seat all right so bouncing into the back seat here again you can see as i as i come on in all right i'm gonna close the door behind me i've got tons and tons of room so i'm sitting in the back here i'm six feet and I was originally sitting in front and I had it back just about as far as it could go. I had tons and tons of foot space. to give myself tons of foot space. Now I've got tons and tons of room back here as well. Like, look at this. It's unbelievable. It's super, super, super comfortable. So you can see my head here. Let me just adjust the camera. You can see my head here. Lots and lots of room. The head is there, right? Very, very comfortable there, right? My knees are down here, right? And that's all the way back this chair. Right, this one's back as well, tilted back. But you can see just how sort of spacious it is, right? Very, very nice place to be, very nice interior. You get all your garage stuff, you got you got pretty much everything you need in this place. Got a few more lights here if you wanna you know if you're if you're traveling long distance and need a few little things, little little peek into your cargo back there. Huge, huge area. Think of how many golf set, sets of golf clubs you get back there. 
you get a you can get a team of golf clubs back there. You can get at least like four or five sets. It's pretty amazing. Good. All right, so I showed you in and out of the, the Forerunner. I've given you all the sort of specs of the vehicle. You know, I told you about my experience about it. You know, I've had it for about two weeks, really enjoyed the car. It sits nice and high up, very, very comfortable. It is really, really hard on gas, but fit and finish inside, nice and spacious, you know, for, for a big guy or a big family. Uh, it's easy to move things around. It's very, very comfortable. So I give it high ratings uh, in terms of livability. Um, I think it's a really, really good sort of practical daily driver and, and in and around $38,000, I think for what you're getting here, this package, it's really, really good. So let's jump in the car. Let's take it for a little first person, um, little little boot around the, uh, the city. And uh, I'll give you my perspective on, uh, on my thoughts on, uh, on, on how the car sort of feels to drive, okay? Let's check it out. All right, so here we are in the 2022 Forerunner. We've just done the whole sort of walk around. You know, I've talked to you about the specs of the car. Um, I've given you a general vague sort of idea of how it was for me to live with it. Really enjoyed the car. You know, it's, it's very spacious. Um, it's very big. I think if you're, if you're a bigger gentleman, general, general woman, um, and you like being high off off the road, um, I think this is a very, very good vehicle. Um, it, it feels solid, it feels, you know, it feels substantial. You're looking down on everybody. You can see when you're on the highway, you can see where you need to navigate. You can see little holes, um, you know, you, you can see if there's, you know, an accident going on there, you can take a little quick lane. It's very easy to navigate. Some people don't like being very low. They don't feel as safe when they're low to the road. This one sits very high. Uh, so driving impressions, um, acceleration, not the greatest. This thing's weighing in about 4,500 pounds. It's got a big engine in it, right? But it weighs a lot. So, um, you know, it, it gets up to speed, but off the lights and stuff like that, it's it's not super, super peppy. It's not really, you know, it's it's not a performance vehicle. So you're not getting, you're not getting a ton of horsepower, which is okay, um, but it it's, it's plenty enough for your sort of day-to-day -day driving, kicking around the city. Um, when you do get the thing up to speed, brakes, really, really good. Brakes are, are awesome. They, they, they have plenty of grip. It's probably because it's a 2022 car. I've had no issues with the brakes. They're very, very, they bite, they're good to go. Um, steering on the car, really, really enjoy it. You, you, you can feel a little bit of body roll on the car because the car is tall and very wide. It's very G-Wagon-esque, right? Flash to the G-Wagon, Mercedes-Benz. Very boxy and, and upright. So when you do get into some heavy corners, you can feel it kind of falling over a little bit. It's, it's a little bit clumsy in that respect, but remember, it's 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 meant to be your magic carpet. It's it's meant to be your car that you just sort of cruise in and you know, you know, it, it, it's not meant to be super, super fast. It's meant to be comfortable. You take your family, you know, you can get everything in it. Um, and it, you know, it does, the, it does the trick, right? Um, so in terms of comfortability, the car is awesome. It's, it's, it's got all the tech. It's got nice leathers. It's, um, it's very spacious. It's, uh, it's, you know, it's got five seats, comfortable. It's got climate control in the back. It's, it's the perfect sort of family car. It's the fir perfect sort of, you know, going to the lake car or, you know, going on a safari or going, you know, going to the mountain or something like that, or just, just, you know, going on any sort of, you know, trip with a lot of, with a lot of stuff. So, um, and I think most people, you know, they tend to gravitate to certain vehicles um, in, in, in the, the sort of full size SUV market. This one's a little different. It's a little bit cooler, you know, it's, um, you know, it's it's a little bit edgier. The styling of it is a little bit different, um, and I think in my experience, I've I've seen a lot of them on the on the road, and I, I think a lot of people enjoy them. So I I want to say that it sells pretty well. Um, it's probably because of the package. It's probably because of of the, you know the price thirty eight thousand dollars. What you're getting here is awesome. It's it's a really really good package. And again, we go back to Toyota. Toyota is such a a good company for what they offer. They come in at a reasonable price, right? I guess they're Japanese. Reasonable price, and they give you a lot. So if you're in the market for any car, it could be a four-door four -door sedan, you could be looking at a Camry, you could be looking at a full-size SUV, <coughs> a little two-door Supra. You know, Toyota is a good sort of option in terms of like, you know, money for what you're getting. So I highly, highly recommend it. Um, what else to talk about? I mean, yeah, a little bit of body roll on the car suspension is really really good it's a heavy car 
but it it rides over bumps really nice it's got big gnarly tires on it and everything like that so it rides over bumps very very sort of comfortable again i keep saying it very very comfortable um what else i mean that that backs that back window that we can just tilt back there let me try and get that down if you can see it there it goes down back up that's that's reminiscent of a ferrari 488 right only those little coupes do that little thing so you can hear your engine at the back i think that really gives me this sort of african safari sort of vibes on it um it's super super cool if you don't want your windows down here but you want your it's a nice day you want to catch some breeze you throw that thing down and it's it's a really really cool little option and that's that's another thing that's not available in any other sort of suvs in 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 this segment so another little little cool piece um fit and finish around here everything looks really really good uh, you got your heated seats. You got you got all the all the amenities. Really, really cool sort of spot to be in. So again, I give this this car really, really high marks. Um, it comes highly sort of recommended. I, I I would recommend it to anybody that's in the we call it the full size sort of SUV market. This one again coming in thirty eight thousand dollars under forty thousand. You want to spec it a little bit better. You want to get a few maybe drivers packages or something like that inside of it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, maybe spec it up to, I don't think you could go more than sort of 45,000 unless you're going TRD, which is the next model that you could explore that has you know a lot more, probably better rims, more horsepower. Um, but for what it is, I highly recommend this vehicle. I think it's a really, really good car. I think if you bought this vehicle, you'd be really, really pleased with it. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I give it a full time, full sort of buy. So yeah, take a look at this, uh, this vehicle if you're in the market and uh, and uh, definitely definitely put it on your list as a as a potential buy all right if you guys have enjoyed this video please hit like again if i uh, if i get 100 likes on any of my videos i randomly give out a 200 dollars gift card to one of my subscribers to the apple store so hit that like do your do your do uh, do your uh, contribute uh, do your part excuse me and be one of those 100 uh, likes doesn't take a lot to just hit that like button Okay, um, and you'll have uh, yourself entered in uh, in the competition as long as you're subscribed to uh, to win uh, an Apple gift card. There's one right there. There's a there's a forerunner right there going around the corner. I wish you could see it. I can't tilt the camera. Um, yeah, as well. If you're if you wanna if you enjoy the videos, hit that like button. If you uh, if you're enjoying the other videos, I encourage you to browse the channel. Uh, hit that subscribe button. It, uh, it 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 enhances the channel. Allows me to get more videos going it um, it tells the the uh, youtube algorithm that you're enjoying the videos and and, uh, and recommends you more of them okay i do a video like this every single week i've got a big surprise coming next week actually where i've got an update on my new supercar that i've been working on for an awful long time so hit that subscribe button make sure that you're make sure you're subscribed so you're getting these updates and uh and don't miss it, okay? I'll see you in the next video, hopefully sooner than later. I'm gonna try and pump out more than one next week. Hopefully you're subscribed, hopefully uh, you're uh, you're getting involved. Uh, hit me back in the comments if, you, if you've got some comments or uh, you wanna buy this vehicle but you're not sure on a few little things. Hit me in the comments, hit me up with questions, I'm happy to help, okay? Hopefully I see you guys all in the next video. Look forward to it, bye.